Hello, fabulous superstar Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2020. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt, and you will feel that right out of the gate. It is going to be the second of the month that we will have a full moon. This full moon will be taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. And so, your workplace and how busy you are, the type of work you're doing, the people who surround you there is covered here, as well as your smaller moments like your health related habits. Now this full moon is speaking in harmony with Uranus. I love this energy for you. The full moon on the one hand tends to bring things to culmination and conclusion, but it is that Uranian connection that tends to suggest new, new energy, new possibilities, new beginnings, new opportunities as well. And so I do feel like this could be a time where there are some changes taking place. If it is that you are in a workplace, well, it may be that there is someone leaving that workplace now, and it might be a female, that is a possibility because of the very nature of the energy of the sign that is playing out here. However, it is also possible that there is a feeling of happiness all around. Now, whether you're happy that that person is gone, <laughs> that's one way to look at it. Or you might be happy for them because you know they're moving on to the new and the better for them. It may also be possible that in their leaving, you get to take on new roles and new responsibilities in a way that feels enlivening and refreshing to you. Now there is workplace opportunities with this, but it represents growth. And so it could be that you're leaving one role behind and moving on to another. If it is you that is leaving a particular workplace, well, it does look like you have new horizons already there that you are moving towards. And so as much as it is that there are closures here, there's also a sense of new beginnings. This part of the sky can also be connected to things like self-employment. You might be especially busy now. It may be that certain clients are returning or people that you've worked with for a while in terms of them being your clients. Well, it may be that there are surprises in store there that feel like a blessing. It is also this part of the sky that can speak to how well you take care of you. Health related habits are covered here. If there have been any health related questions or uncertainties, it is this full moon uh, that can bring very positive developments, new information uh, that feels very much like a blessing. But this might also be a time when you are looking to make changes where it comes to your habits so that you can feel better. And those types of changes that take place now may come quickly, but the rewards are very quick also. Now, as we navigate later in the month, it is going to be right around the 17th that we are going to have a new moon. This new moon is taking place in the sign just before yours, and it is important for a few reasons. When I see important energy playing out in the sign just before yours, it means that there is energy coming up in your sign, which is next month. Next month is gonna be a huge month for you. It is a blue moon, two full moons taking place that month. We are going to have a new moon in your sign, a brand new beginning for you. Now, I will be here to talk about it every step of the way. But for now, I did wanna focus in on this particular energy because it is setting the stage for those new beginnings that are right around the corner next month. This new moon is happening in the sign just before yours and speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto and Saturn. Speaking with Jupiter as well, though not as precisely as these other two power players. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with healthy closures. With these type of alignments, they are absolutely healthy closures at that. It could be that you are closing karmic ties, you are ending karmic chapters. You are understanding what has served its purpose in your life. And as this sense of closure is taking place, you are feeling elated and excited about what is ahead. There's also a sense now of karmic blessings with this. So it could be that beautiful, wonderful things have a way of coming together and showing up for you now. It may also be the case that you are feeling especially excited and hopeful 
about what is coming to an end now, knowing and sensing that there are new chapters on the horizon for you. This could be very sweeping. And so it may be you that is deciding what stays and what goes, but it may also be the case that you get to summon a inner determination that you didn't know was there, a deep courage, knowing that the time for change has come. Now remember, this is taking place so that you can welcome in the new and the next next month, so that you can feel that sense of fresh energy in this life and all that you have yet to do. Because I will tell you, you've got a lot more to do in this lifetime. It is ultimately this energy that can help clear the way of any doubts, any fears. And I would even say sometimes with this energy, if it is that you have had uh, any escapist tendencies, addiction tendencies, depressive tendencies, it is this very energy that can bring profound healing so that you can live more fully and feel more engaged with a life that you love. Where it comes to matters of love, there are a couple of big things taking place. So one is the fact that Venus is going to change signs, moving into a more compatible placement for you, a part of the sky that has to do with friendship and social events. And so that is going to make it that much more easier to interact and engage with others, uh, to have friendship evolve into love. And that energy is going to start about a week into the month and be with you right into next month as well. But there's something else happening that I think you will be feeling very strongly, and that is right around the 9th of September, Mars will officially go retrograde and will stay retrograde right to the middle of November. Now, Mars in your opposite sign, and especially when a planet is changing directions, its energies are that much more heightened, and this is a moment of truth for you, the truth of how you feel about where you are in love and why. Now, I also want to give you a little bit of a heads up. I told you next month would be a huge month for you. Part of the reason is next month begins on a full moon in your opposite sign. And what that says is that love is going to be very important. There are going to be developments in the context of love next month. But for now, Mars is a pretty big development. And it is this Mars that goes retrograde now that will have you feeling all kinds of things. I'm just seeing a rush of energy, a rush of emotion, where it is that there has been frustration that's pent up, it will be coming forward. Where it is that there has been anger, some of that is gonna come forward. But where it is that you have not felt empowered, those feelings are gonna come forward as a way of helping you to understand more deeply what authentic empowerment, especially in love, is gonna mean for you. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, well look, the retrograde day, that very well could bring somebody in. It looks like there is a whole lot of energy, a whole lot of passion, a whole lot of intensity as well. Now in the larger picture, in the bigger term, Mars retrograde, well look, I would pace yourself, <laughs> that would be my advice. And yet there may very well be a very memorable moment that helps you to understand where you are in love and why that takes place in the first part of the month as Mars shifts directions. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, it is gonna be Mars changing directions that either it's gonna go one of two ways. Either you're gonna realize you really don't like this person, <laughs> which can happen. And if that is the case, then that is gonna be very evident along with the determination to go a different way. But what can also happen is that things become very intense right around that time. Uh, they may become more intimate as well, physically speaking. Now, what you do is always up to you in light of your unique circumstances, but do know that this is an extended retrograde season. Once Mars goes direct, this moment may look different, and yet, whatever it is that you are feeling, it is going to be quite undeniable. For those of you who are in an established bond, if there has been anything that you've been holding back on, not sure of, feeling frustrated about, all of that is gonna to come to the surface at this time. I do think that this energy is, again, moment of truth time. 
This is about what has been taking place in the dynamic, what your role is within it. Now for the small percentage of you out there who might not be in the right relationship for you, that is going to be very apparent, uh, especially as Mars shifts direction. However, if it is that you are in the right relationship for you, this is going to be a time when as much as there might be very strong emotion, whether it's you feeling it or your partner feeling it, there is also going to be the willingness to commit to the journey to move forward from here. Now that journey ultimately is going to be an inner journey as well. So keep that in mind. It is retrogrades that bring reflection that invite us to personalize and look at ourselves more deeply. What that means for the bigger picture, well, that tends to reveal itself further on once that planet goes direct, which is coming in November. What I love about this month for you, well, look, the planets are making moves right about now, not only with Mars going retrograde, but in the middle of the month, Jupiter going direct, late in the month, Saturn going direct, and all that says that things are going to feel like they are changing. Both Jupiter and Saturn are moving through the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, having to do with home, having to do with family of origin. If you have felt stuck where you are, it is going to be the forward movement of Jupiter and Saturn that are going to help you to feel like things are finally moving forward. And it is going to be as we progress through this month that you will increasingly sense that important changes are taking place, perhaps quietly, perhaps under the surface, but it truly is setting the stage for an important and bold month coming up next. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.